Okay, this is the portion of the show where we make extremely loud noises. Well, okay, that's good. I'm glad. I'll tell you, you can take your fingers out of your ears for a moment. Um, if you have a, a heart condition where a noise could um, cause a problem, or if you have an infant who doesn't like loud noises, I would invite you to step outside. This will be the loudest thing you've ever heard. I'll give you a minute. If you're not, if you're not keen on big noises, Everybody else, you might assume the position. When I tell you, it'll be obvious. You have the advantage of being able to do this. How are you going to do it? What do you mean? I forgot my earplugs. I can hold this over here, Bob. Okay, good. All right, what I have here is a methane with uh, is a balloon of methane. And methane is the gas that we use to heat our homes. There's about a liter of methane in here. You would use about two million such liters of methane to heat your home for one year. Let me show you how much energy is contained in one liter. Oh, you like that, did you? That was nothing. <laughs> this balloon contains acetylene, which is welder's gas. And welders use it because there's enough energy from acetylene to melt iron, to get the two pieces of iron to stick together. So I've got the same quantity of, methane, or of acetylene here, approximately a gram of acetylene, which is uh, what, one four hundred and fifty fourth of a pound, a thousandth of a kilo of acetylene. And welders receive this in big tanks of liquid and uh, use it to, maybe I'll get the liquid oxygen away. <laughs> so I'll protect my right ear here. Whoa. That was loud. Can you hear it? I plugged my ear. Oh. Okay. Uh, yes, when I tell you. This is a uh, copper cylinder with a hole in the bottom, and I have a cylinder full of hydrogen gas here, which you might think is the wrong thing to light on fire, but that's what we're going to do. Um, you may know hydrogen gas from such films as The Hindenburg. Uh, the space shuttle is powered by liquid hydrogen. Hydrogen has a huge energy density, in other words, a lot of energy per unit mass. What I'm going to do is fill up this cylinder with gas, hydrogen gas. Take your finger up. Okay. So you see a little flame at the top. So the hydrogen is burning off and as the hydrogen burns off it pulls air in the bottom. The bottom is hollow and hydrogen, oddly enough, doesn't explode unless the mixture is just right. It's called an upper and a lower explosive limit. And at, the, at this moment, we're nowhere near either of those limits. It's hydrogen rich. But when it gets down to a, a certain quantity of oxygen and hydrogen inside the bomb, it becomes explosive. So you have to, you have to sort of lean forward in your seat and cup your ears like this so you can hear it properly. It does actually make an interesting sound. It hasn't started to yet, but it will as that flame dies down. We call this the hydrogen bomb. <laughs> okay, 